First up, we have VLC or Video LAN Client. Now, this is a completely free open source media player which pretty much plays any format under the sun. So, we're talking about MPEG, MP4, AVI, MP3, MKV. So, pretty much any format that your media files are in, you'll be able to play it with VLC. And we can see they have clients for Windows, for Mac OS, for Linux even Android and iOS devices can install this program and use it to play their favorite multimedia. And we can see some of the other features that we have the ability to install custom skins, uh, you can install extensions, you can also stream content from network resources through this client. So it's not just a case that you can only play local media, even if you have your video files on a NAS drive or maybe somewhere on the internet, as long as you can connect to that address, you can play that content through VLC. So, I mean, it's been around for a very long time. It's very reliable. It really is a great open source media player and it's available for most of your favorite devices. Next up, we have OBS Studio or Open Broadcaster Studio. Now, this is a fantastic application and I'm really surprised that this is completely free and I'm actually using it right now and I do use it for all of my recordings when I'm making my tutorials for this channel, also my main Tech Doctor channel, all of those videos are recorded using OBS. It really is a fantastic application. It allows you to record your screen. You can take inputs from different uh, sources like your capture cards, like your webcams. In my example, I use my Elgato capture card, which I then plug my Fire Stick or my NVIDIA Shield, or really any of my HDMI devices, I can plug into that and then OBS will then show you exactly what's on the screen. You can create custom scenes, have different audio sources, and of course, a key part of the program is you can use it to stream your content. So wherever you see on your OBS screen, you can push that content over to your YouTube channel or to your Twitch or really any of the major streaming providers, you can stream your content onto them directly through OBS. So really great application and again i'm surprised that it's completely free it's also been around for a long time and it's available for windows mac os and also linux next up we have LibreOffice. now if you are looking for a free open source alternative to ms office then this really is a great option in the past i've used open office but one great advantage of LibreOffice is the fact that you can actually save your you know word documents or excel documents in the Microsoft Office format. So both of those applications, LibreOffice and OpenOffice, will allow you to open those MS Office formatted files, but only LibreOffice will allow you to save that back in the original MS Office format. So great application, allows you to create those Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, documents, absolutely free. And we can see that's available Windows, Mac OS, and Linux again. So, so if you don't want to pay for Microsoft Office, then definitely LibreOffice is the one that I personally recommend. Next up, we have GIMP. Now, all this got a slightly humorous name. I mean, it stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Program. And if you're looking for a free open source image editor, pretty much the kind of stuff you can do with Photoshop, you can do most of those features with this completely free application. Now, I've used this in the past to create some of my uh, thumbnails. We can see some of the features that you can customize the interface. It has all of those photo enhancement filters. Uh, you can retouch your photos. Supports most of the common formats like JPEG, like GIF, like PNG. Is it GIF or is it GIF? Do leave me a comment below and let me know. Um, and it's supported on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, even Solaris and FreeBSD. So, so lots of different platforms, great application. And for most of you looking to do some basic editing or photo retouching, you can do all of that with this completely free application. And last up, we have VirtualBox. Now, I've actually made a video on this in the past, just showing you how easy it is to use this application and create virtual machines. Now, there really are just so many benefits of having a virtual machine or multiple virtual machines on your device, as long as you have the hardware to support it. Now, for example, if you want to try out a different operating system, but you don't want to mess up your main operating system, you could install a virtual machine and in that virtual machine, you can install Linux or a different version of Windows or really any operating system that you like. Or maybe if you want to test out some software and make sure that doesn't you know, mess up anything else, you can also install that into a virtual machine 
and anything you do in that virtual machine won't have any impact on your main host machine, the one that's actually hosting that virtual machine. It's a great way for you to try out different operating systems, again, without affecting your main machine. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below and let me know if there's any other free programs that you guys regularly use and I'll see if I can feature them in a future episode. So many thanks for your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.